Yes, I thank God uh, because it is uh, a new day, a brand new day. God has allowed us to be alive, to be healthy, and uh, to, to minister to him when he has blessed us with rains in abundance and then good health. We have all the reason to exhort him. Today is a Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because of your faithfulness. We thank you because of this day you have allowed us to exist before the face of the earth for a good reason. We thank you, Lord, because we are here for a purpose. We thank you, Lord, because you love us. When others are hospitalized, when others are traveling, when others are unable to connect, through your grace, Lord, here we are, we exalt your holy name. As we fellowship, Lord, we pray that you are going to be in our midst. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. So thank you, everyone, for dialing in. This is the denomination of fellowship, whereby we meet every Wednesday. We get a thought, then we just go and relax. So welcome, welcome everybody. I wanted my brother Mangao to be sharing the screen because he's not there. I think I, I can do it. Let me just do it. Can somebody confirm if you are able to see that screen? Somebody to confirm, just unmute and say you can see the screen. Not yet, not yet. Not yet, okay, let me see. I think you are now okay. So there is a verse I shared. Yes. And that today, yes. yes, you can now see. Yeah, we are talking about the unique Joseph. From the text we shared, we want to see how Joseph becomes a unique man when we are celebrating the birth of Jesus on Saturday. I looked at this guy and I saw some uniqueness in him. When you read in Matthew 1, 22 to 25, the Bible saying, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he read what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate the marriage until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. I'm speaking about a unique man because once you look at the, some of the things in this text, you are going to see somebody who is so special, somebody who is not like me and like most of us, somebody with some special characteristics. Actually, I'm speaking about a unique Joseph because he's the only person of a special kind during his times. Uniqueness has been the only one of his kind, special. 
This is not normal. We are talking about a special, something with some special attributes. And that is what we can see in Joseph. Joseph did not want to achieve Mary. Actually, he was a man of honor. We are speaking about Joseph because he was a man of honor. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, he did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. That is what we mean by a man of honor. He was, he, he was the normal people. Joseph could do what the law demanded. Actually, once you read in Deuteronomy 22, verse 23 to 24, the Bible says, if a man happens to meet in a town, a virgin pledged to be married and is lived with her, you shall take both of them to the gates of that town and stone them to death. The young woman, because she was in town and did not scream for help, and the man, because he violated another man's wife. You must find the evil from among you. So this was the expectation. Because Joseph knew he was faithful and he followed the law to the latter, he could demand that this lady be stoned to death because he knew very well his conscience was so clear that he was faithful to God. But through honor, because he was an honorable man, quietly, in honor, he just planned to leave the, 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 the girl, the lady, peacefully. This is a great honor. Actually, during Christ's time, when you read John 8, 3 to 4, the Bible is, is saying, as he was speaking, this is Jesus, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in the act of undertaring. They put her in front of the crown. Then they told Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of undertaking. The law of Moses says to stone her. Jesus, what do you say about this woman? So that it was the expectation of the crowd. Whenever a person behaves the way Mary behaved, it was the expectation of the crowd, of the many people, that this woman be brought before people and be stoned to death. Actually, this is what they did when they caught one woman who was committing undertaking. While in Latia, yes, Wakamambia, Sasa Uyu, to Kampata Vizuri Sana, Nal, to Nanjua Vienye, Neno Linasema. We know very well what the law say. Now, Jesus, what do you say? Because Joseph was an honorable man, he was a man of honor. He could not do what the crowd expected. The Bible says, if probably it was me, if probably it was you, what, what, what could you do? And how do we handle people in public? How do we handle our children? How do we handle the people who offend us? Do we have somebody of honor in our midst such that even if we are offended, we are able to behave in a manner to bring respect to the other people. There is a, a church I know, but it has changed. Apo awali, mutu akiwa mekosa, there was a seat of shame. Kuna kiti mutu alikuwa nakalishwa. Na kila mutu kwenye yu kanisa, alikuwa anchue ya kwamba, uyu tunamukalisha kwenye hiki kiti kwa sababu kuna thambi alitenda. So this church used to humiliate people such that once some of the people do some of these offenses could not attend that church because there was that seat of shame. But I, I thank God because that church has changed. And we now respect people. Ata wakikosa, tunawapa eshima, tunawapeleka pole pole, wanapeleka pole pole, pole pole, pole pole, mpaka wanarudi kwa fellowship. How do we handle people in public? For those people who are married, how do we handle our wives in the public? Somebody in the morning, a lecturer in Ukama Bible College called Jeremiah Matiko. 
in his wall. Today, he posted and said, it is very important to take care of your wife always in the public and correct her in private. I don't know why Mr. Reverend Matiko was speaking that because it was in my message. Once we are in public and we handle our friends, our children, our wives, our co-workers, because Reverend Matiku was saying, because we are in public, there should be some honor when we are handling these people. But once we go back, we are private. We can now go into details and try to discuss things when we are in private. Today, how do we handle people in public? Joseph was an honorable man. He is a unique character because he decided to just quit with respect. Actually, somebody saying, shame is a soul eating emotion. You may put somebody into a shame until that, that fella dies completely, emotionally, spiritually, unaweza mkosoyo mtu, bele watu probably, na umuwe kabisa, atoroka kanisa kabisa, naende zake. There is a story which was going viral online about a boy who stole a watch. And the owner of the watch reported the matter to the teacher. The teacher told the class to move out and he inspected their pockets. But before he inspected, he instructed each student to close the eyes. So they were all closing their eyes. Mwalimu akatembea pole pole, pole 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 pole, akampata mwenye alikuwa ameimba hiyo saa. Akachukua and he continued inspecting all the students, part of them he inspected. Eventually he said, I thank God because I have managed to get the watch. Please come over the owner of the watch and he gave the owner of the watch. Then later on, after many years, during the retirement of this teacher, a fellow went there to the retirement. And he said to the teacher, I thank you so much. There is a day you did me honor. The teacher could not remember. He added, I am that boy who stole that watch, but you did not put shame upon me before the students. The teacher told the man, that day, I was also closing my eyes. Actually, I did not know the exact man who stole that watch. So that was an opportunity for this teacher to be honorable man, to be unique teacher. He did not bring shame to the thief. Actually, that boy changed, eventually passed exams eventually became an honorable person. He came to the retirement of that teacher because he knew one day he was protected. One day he was to bear shame, but somebody stood in honor and protected him. Shame is a soul eating emotion. Many people are subjected to shame and they are never the same. Mtu anatoka kanisa, anaenda kuingia club. Mtu anatoka kwa familia, anambua rudi, anaenda na rudi, anaenda kwa ribika. Brothers and sisters, may this be a thought into our hearts that we need to be honorable people in whatever we are doing. Let's see good in others. Let's see people deserve to be respected. Let's see that people are admired. And that is what we mean by being honorable. We mean others are good people, others deserve respect, others are admirable. They are human beings created in the image of God and they need respect. They need to be admired at our Kifana name. Somebody said God Pat Honor. Honor is the presence of God in man. Yani sisi ni wenye dhambi, lakini mungu anatuona sisi ni watu wa eshima sana. 
mpaka hata tupatia wakati wa kutubu tumrudie let's be honorable people joseph was a unique man hata akiwa alikuwa amefanywa nini alitulea hey hii mtiani sijui lenai kama wao ungepeta hii mtiani eh sijui sijui wewe you are faithful huko sawa wewe mrembo na mlea umetangaza harusi ukiendelea unaona mambo hapa yanabadilika sijui hapo hapo mimi sijui nikapata nini i'm speaking about Joseph being a unique man because hapo mimi najua kuna mambo ningekosea most of the guys wakiona hii mambo iko hivyo wanatoroka na mimi najua harusi ili katika siku hiyo ya harusi ilikuwa ya wachungaji mchungaji akauliza naona mama hapa ako na mambo wewe mchungaji unasema nini hii siendelei na jamaa akatoroka kaenda zake mwanamke akaenda zake because jamaa alikuwa anajua si yeye wengine wakijua ni hao hey hao wanaarikisha harusi that's why i'm saying joseph was a unique man number two. how is it unique he mastered his flesh he ruled mwili wake alisimama na akasema i'm going to rule i'm going to have dominion over my flesh in verse 25 the bible says but he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. Hey. Paul is saying marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed kept pure for God will judge the undertara and the sexual immoral. When we look at our bodies it is not symbol for people to be married but there are no sexual relations. Today sexual relations has been a pandemic issue. We are talking about sexual issues every day. Actually the sinful desire of the flesh leads to uncleanness, sexual immorality, sensuality. And somebody said it is better to seek the pain of heaven than the pleasure of hell. How could be sanctified by avoiding sexual immorality? Today we are speaking about our flesh because things are not simple i was watching last week gatito sujui secondary school let me call it secondary school what was happening one car 10 boys apo ngombe wametushinda mbuzi wametushinda kondo wametushinda paka wametushinda dege wametushinda one car in aitwa onki that is what was happening and that is that one went viral people unable to control their flesh who else could do this apart from this unique joseph he married and he kept distance for almost all over here hey. joseph must be a unique man he was a unique man Nothing has stolen more dreams, dashed more hopes, broken up families, messed up more people psychologically than our propensity to disregard God's command regarding sexual purity. That is understanding. Watu wamekosewa, familia zimefunjwa, maono ya watu, mtu alikuwa anasema mimi nasoma, mimi ni msichana mimi nasoma, but sexual relations and issues mess up with visionary people flesh will not stand and please let's get this from monica johnson he, she said flesh will not stand in front of god so all the decisions you make from your flesh will be paid for with your soul your flesh rejects the truth because it decides to do what it wants to do wakati nitasimama mbele ya Mungu nikumbuke ya kwamba mwili hautakuwa pale ni roho yangu itahukumiwa so monica johnson is telling us that 
we should take care and dominate and rule our flesh. Mwili na niambia nende ni kafanya thambi, lakini roi ni kugushe ndi otasimama mbele ya kiti cha enzi cha mungu. Na hiyo inifanye ni siende kufanya hii thambi. Joseph was a unique man. He was able to rule and to dominate his flesh to please God. Where are the unique Josephs are today? Where are the functions today? What is happening during this Christmas? People are thinking once I come to visit you, once we take social relations, is what we call Christmas today. Watu wa naribika, wenda soko watoto wa naribika kwa mpangi kwa gono kwa pindu kama hizi. Joseph was unique. Once he was married in the same house, a year plus, but he abstained. He must be a very unique Joseph. Joseph to emulate. And the third thing, Joseph was obedient to God and the authorities. When you read in Matthew 1, 24, say, when Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary whom as his wife. This is a special man. When you read from the Bible, Genesis to Revelation, you are going to find that special people used to complain fast. They were not obeying God at first. They used to complain. Go to Hosea. He was a righteous man, a smart guy. God tells him, Hosea, my dear, go and marry a prostitute. But Hosea complaining. Chapter one of Hosea complains. Chapter two of Hosea complains. Chapter three of Hosea complains. It is not easy to get somebody like Joseph who the angel just commanded him and he obey. Hamba Cook is complaining. He's a servant of God, but complaining, saying, God, you are not just. I can see sinners are prospering, the righteous are suffering. So Amber Cook is there complaining day in, day out, complaining. We have Job who was silenced by God. Actually, God spoke to Job. When you, once you read Job that teach, verse 3. Bless yourself like a man. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the arms foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked of its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? This is God trying to speak to Job when Job's heart was nearly complaining. Obeying God was not easy for him. Such a time as this. I don't want to speak about Moses. You know, you all know the Moses of complaints. But come to the unique Joseph. Go marry, he married. There is a time for census. He took Mary. Anatoka na uyo mada mamimikosea, watu ni kama wanamuitaka maluaya, ni kama, ala, na wanatemia pamoja, wanaenda uko. The guy was just obeying, sends us. Wengine hata kuchukua gura, muwezi chukua, aduwezi chukua gura, hata kuenda kupiga uko wa nishida. To obey what the, 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 the nation is saying, the authority is saying, it's not simple. But Joseph here, wanaenda tuwa pale, tuwa kanjadikishe. This man is so unique. He went to hit the baby in Egypt. Malaika akali mtoke zea tuwa kamuambia wepe, leka mtoto kule, kuna shida hapa. Aga chukua tu mtoto, na wakaenda, no question. Right? This guy is, this guy is humble. This guy obey God. There is a time kijana akapotea. Akambia mama tuka mtafute kijana. Alienda, waka mtafute kijana. So we can see Joseph is a unique guy. Brethren, today is 22nd December 2021. Somebody said, the driver on the highway is saved not when you read the signs. 
but when is your best time? Sasa sisi tumesoma Biblia tunaielewa vizuri but on bear you know the word of God is saying hapa hapa mtu akasema the driver on the highway is safe. Wewe umeona vile maandiko kibao kinasema you'll be safe. Kwa naona hii ni yellow line. Don't overtake. Hapa ni kwa mlima na mwimbaji Muthe akaimba Dereva Dereva chunga maisha si hapana watoke kokona si unaona hii ni mlima chunga maisha then driver on the highway is safe not when you read the signs but once in your best faith is only real sisi ni watu wa Kristo tutakuwa wa Kristo kamili if we will be obedient like Joseph the word of god tells me do this i obey the voice of god and i do it i become unique like Joseph not questioning after this is what we call faith when there is obedience never without it and faith only becomes faith in the act of obedience ikiwa kuna una kitu naamini lazima there must be what is mobilized there must be passion this is obedience it is not measured by our ability to obey laws and the principles obedience is measured by our response to god's voice bill johnson mungu ananena nawe anakuambia nini omba sawa sawa anaenda kaombe Mungu anakuambia nini tumbu wewe anaenda tumbu. Mungu ana Mungu anakuambia nini obey. Trust and obey for there is no other way. Yo wimbo tuliimba sinjue was in class 3. Trust and obey for there is no other way but to trust in Jesus. Trust and obey. The unique Joseph had no questions. He trusted and he obeyed. In conclusion, brethren, let us be honorable as we handle others. Hata wakitukosea ni wa familia yetu, ni mbibi yetu, ni wachungaji, hata wakikufanyia nini, be honorable. Being honorable means those others deserve respect. Hata iwe na mnagani. They need to be admired. They are people. Let us master our flesh. Emilietu, let us master. Wewe command your eyes, command what you hear, command what you are eating. Command and be a master of your flesh. And number three, let us listen and obey God. Tumskilize Bwana and let us obey. Brethren, thank you for joining. Thank you for dialing in. I wish you merry christmas and prosperous new year but before new year comes next week wednesday we i know we shall meet i know it is now raining here so let me just pray father in jesus name i thank you because of the opportunity you have given us to fellowship together and now we are having the blessings of rain lord we pray that as we now disperse to rest and allow us to go to work. Lord, we shall remember that there is a need for us to be honorable. There is a need for us to be people who can master our flesh and we can be people to obey you because this is the faith you need from us. We thank you and we worship you for this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I don't know whether there are, come on, we may to Kidogo. Two people to say hi, then we call it a day. Two people can say hi, then uh, just call it a day. Yes, just a man with the past Amen. Amen. Metoroka, metoroka. Yeah. I'm here with Pastor Bidi. Yes. 
and we are we have been blessed so much by the word uh mungu akubariki sana na kuinua amen and you remember you are the joseph ha huh? one bless you be the joseph be the unique joseph <laughs> amen <laughs> Amen amen Sikilia yo Joseph iko unique Joseph My name is Joseph and I want to be a unique Joseph Amen Yes Amen Any other person to say hi Yeah Yes how to be a unique Joseph ma ma Our profile today will be unique Joseph Sorry. Yes, this is a T. I can see you are unmuted. You can say hi. Hey, to you. Yeah. I'm very happy about the topic of Joseph. Joseph was a very humble man. I'm very happy about Thank you. Thank you. Umepotea That tea. topic. Why for pastor you have done you have they so nimepotea unanisikia sasa yeah tunasikia sasa okay and i'm saying yeah i'm very happy about that topic umepotea tena kwa so, uh, that topic of we are very thank you very much be blessed thank you thank you so much Thank you so much T from Dithine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you Deli Muli. You are saying that you are blessed. Yeah, you you can leave a, a note from the chat box. Thank you all for joining. Thank you Lenai for joining from all the way from uh, Masabit. We are proud. Can I greet? Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> Buenas spirit. Amen. Yeah, I'm just very much grateful. I'm Andrew Lenikusho from Marsabit. Uh, the topic about Joseph is extremely a uh, top point for our lives being pastors today. And I really enjoyed it. I, I have yeah. been missing the fellowship, but I'm back. My dad was sick, so I couldn't be joining other times. But the Lord is being a uh, The Lord is proving to be faithful to me and to our family. So nashukuru sana bwana kubariki katambo na kuendelea kuinua. Apia atuinueze na sisi. Nimeshukuru. Asante. Asante sana Lenai kwa pamoja na wewe all the way from Samburu. We are happy and I think God is going to do great things to your father who is not feeling well. Apone na tushukuru sote. Eh, asante. Okay thank you so much everyone for dialing in thank you Karen naona Joseph pale naona hata Joseph ameandika unique Joseph <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, that, that one is the legend <laughs> God bless you so much Joseph <laughs> Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu ametubariki na mvua. Mungu awabariki na Christmas jema na wapenda tukutane next week Wednesday for such a wonderful let's pray for breaking. Father in Jesus name we thank you because you have been together with us. We thank you because one we thank you that as we break you are going to be together with us. As we rest Lord as others are working, Father we pray that you are going to be with all of us. For this is our prayer in Jesus name. Amen 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 God amen, bless amen. you so much Asante Asante Amen Mutumezi muno Mwendo nyumu God bless you so much <laughs>